In a highly anticipated address, President Nicolas Sarkozy still hasn't declared his candidacy, but he did offer a set of economic remedies which could have been stamped made in Germany. An easing of the 35-hour work week and raising to 21.2 percent, the VAT or sales tax, were two measures adopted by Germany in the last decade. Why can't it work for us? It worked for Germany. To get such measures passed, Sarkozy will have to convince a socialist-led parliament, the unions, as well as his own allies. But with a 22-point gap between himself and Francois Hollande, local media says Sarkozy has chosen to present himself as president courageous. It's the role of reformer that Sarkozy wants to project. He wants to be viewed as an effective president who is willing to propose unpopular measures to save the country and restore competitiveness, even if it means not being liked. Sarkozy's UMP party just unveiled their campaign agenda, which should stake out the battleground markers for April's election. Among their ideas, the creation of a new parliament for Eurozone members, more apprenticeships for teenagers, and tougher penalties for criminals. Shots in the culture war were also fired with a promise to tighten border controls, increase deportations of illegal aliens, and various efforts to preserve national identity. The constant praise heaped upon Germany must have pleased their chancellor, Angela Merkel, who announced she will join Sarkozy when he finally hits the campaign trail. Cutting spending and raising taxes may have worked for Germany, but that was during global good times. Many European countries have had German economic medicine forced down their throats, but France's voters have three months to consider alternative therapies. Ramin Mazahari, Press TV, Paris.